I've been watching that sailor for a long time now, and I'm convinced he's not actually doing anything. Uh, checking the manifest. The manifest. The manifest. He, he's just staring at the boat. Like, what is what is this? Yeah, like, yep, this is a piece of wood. It, it's still there. Uh, no, yep, okay, great. He's just making sure that it's not gonna, you know, just go away. Then he pulls on the rope to make sure that it's taut. Yeah, it's, you know? it's still a rope. Yeah, still there. That's rope. great. Oh, water down there? Yep, that's still water. Looks like water to me. Okay, yep. cool. We're still floating. All right, cool. No one drowning. Uh, I like that. I like that a lot. Wait, is this still wood? This still made actually, of wood? that's a really good point. I should probably make sure that this is actually still wood again. <laughs> like, I just... See, to be fair, that thing is how you turn the boat, so it makes it feel like he's trying to leave, and he just <laughs> can't work it like, can I, go. I could just go. I could be free. I could just sail up into the distance. What is a boat? Also, Claude, your yeah. epaulette is incredibly soft. Thank you. Good good choice of fabric. Thanks. It's actually made of straw. Good choice of straw. I got it from a horse. A straw horse? No, a regular horse that was eating it. Oh, that's probably it. Actually, I'll be real with you. I didn't get it from a horse. I got it from about two feet to the left. So why did you lie to me about this horse straw story? Well, the horse put it there. I didn't get it directly from the horse. It still is the horse's straw. Oh, okay. It was a trading horse. Also, you see that rock in the background? Yes. It looks like a blobfish. Yes, it does. <laughs> I get it. I see, I just... I I just I just saw a big nose and a mouth, but yeah. that is more accurate. Yeah, it looks like more a blobfish. <laughs> yeah. We laugh, but a blobfish only looks like that because it's been taken out of its deep, high-pressure environment and deformed under the change in pressure on the surface, and it's actually an agonist torture before it dies, so we really shouldn't make fun of it. I'm sure when it's underwater, it looks like a human. <laughs> yes, the blobfish's true form is of humanity. Oh, let's go suck on a crab. All right. Okay, seriously, how are Curios biting a crab? Uh, I mean, that's a great question that I don't know the answer to. For an animal that's currently being, like, drained of all its life and eaten to death, he seems yeah. to having a very pleasant evening. Like, he's just he relaxed, does. he's just splayed out on the sand, having a few snip snips, wandering, looking for some food, yelling at the hunters. Well, you know, I mean, if he knows he's gonna die, maybe he's just trying to enjoy his time on the way out. Ignore the agony and eat sand. But to be fair, maybe maybe they're just slowly breaking through his shell, and once they've broken through his shell, he just dies. <laughs> he just pops like a balloon. Well, it would oh. take quite some going to get in there. That's all I'm saying. Also, ignore the agony and eat sand is definitely something we should put on a t-shirt. Ignore agony, eat sand. <laughs> it's truly the way, you know. If you know, you know. Ah, oh, blood do. crab yo hermitar looks so good. Oh, he does. He's just extra, extra red. Extra red. Now, who would have thought the naturally red monsters would look very good bloody? All of the legs, apparently. Yeah, crabs don't do well with broken legs. I mean, most things don't, really. Yeah, but having an external shell as your support structure, having that snapped, this feels like a much worse situation than... I guess. Oh! Oh, that's, that sucks. That sucks. We have freed this poor little beastie from its eternal torment. And now we will stab it to death as, as a reward. Currently I'm stunning it, which is definitely not helping it out. Yeah, you're more bludgeoning to death, I provide the stabbing. It's a well-rounded death-dealing experience. Well, I'm trying to crack the shell, and you're trying to get out the meat. <laughs> He's just and sort together of together we permanent... will have dinner. He's in a permanent series of downs right now. That's... you can't... I don't think you can just say that, man. That's... I think that's really insensitive, actually. I'm very sure that I can in the way that I meant it, and that you know I meant it. And in fact, you bringing it up in that way is sort of <laughs> insensitive. <laughs> okay. There we go. I'm fine. Yeah, I'm watch out for the claw. The claw! Don't embrace oh, he's the all, blood he's all, he's all blood. He's all blood foamy. He is all blood foamy, but he did kind of like a nice little yes type gesture which to me implies Wait, how does this shell have the curios eating it right now that doesn't make any sense that's it's what i'm shell. saying like how is he being eaten no i mean not even him like the literal shell on his back is currently the blood part oh yeah like that's not even an actual part of his body <laughs> it's a very confused curios guys you gotta get it you gotta get a load of this this tastes like nothing i've ever had it literally tastes like nothing there's no blood here where did the daimyo go i don't know where he went oh god Velocipray seems pretty confused. <laughs> maybe that's the maybe that's the solution. Maybe if we play along, yeah, then he'll feel really happy that he that he managed to okay. actually hide from us. No, why did he back up? He knew what was happening, and then he walked back into it. <laughs> smart. <laughs> yeah, he really, really immediately went back in there. If, uh, if you if you can excuse me, Velocipray, if you could just uh, we could just please uh, 
If we just move you over here. Thank you very much. I mean, All I, right. I can just do... I can have fun here. I'm just saying. You are allowed to have fun. At all times. Okay, cool. Can I weave the claws? Oh, can I weave the claws? Oh, threading the needle. No! I couldn't thread the claws. I could have done it with no danger at all. And I couldn't thread the success. claws. Got it. I couldn't thread the claws. I could have done 2,600 damage, and instead we did like... Oh, eight. no. Oh. You say is the person who often gets upset about wake-up hits. Oh, no. You could have done an egg. <laughs> Hey, my egg is valuable. All I'm saying is you need hobbies other than egg laying, all right? Says the great sword main. I don't have any eggs. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, a wipe. No, that's not a that's normal wipe. That's a great wipe. Bye, got it. Have fun with the fly. Okay, see ya. I thought it was a bonus wire bug, but I got taken away. Well, I mean, that is a bonus wire bug, just not the kind you wanted. I feel like Blood Mode Tetra was genuinely way more threatening than Blood Mode Daimyo, and I did not well, expect that. Well, of course it's more threatening than Blood Mode Daimyo. Blood Mode Daimyo is, is like the first creature of Sunbreak. They put him very low tier, relatively. Yeah, but he's a crab. Yeah, but Tetra is also, weird to say, Tetra is more based around um, the faster hits, and I think anything that's based on faster hits is more deadly because every one of those hits almost kills you. In Blood Mode, at least. Stop running from me. No, this is my crab. You can't have him. You'll just kill him. Only when I want their armor, which I don't currently. Well, that's also mean, but in a very different way. Come here. Come here. I don't even know where here Follow is. You crab. just ran away from me at full speed. Big temple zone. Follow the sound of my crab. I'm coming. I'm throwing him into the air as a big crab signal flare. You see? You see the big crab signal flare? Yeah. Look, look, yes. see? Look, there you go. Yeah. yeah, you must have seen it that time. Yeah, I did. I'm like a crab -a work Just pop up into the air and... Oh! Did I actually get you? No, I just ran out of time. Oh. I'm so sorry to hear that, man. Is there anything I can do to make your final moments more comfortable? Do something with that crab? You're on it, buddy. Never let it be said that I don't honor your dying wishes to do something not, with a crab. I'm, I'm not dying. Oh, that reminds me of the baby crab swarm. Yes. You know, the baby crab swarm. Yeah, they're down, down in the cave. <laughs> okay, I think we're talking about two different baby crab swarms. I don't believe that. There's only one baby crab swarm. There's, there couldn't be multiple baby crab swarms. Well, I went to like a park thing the other day, right? And there was a okay. lake. All right. And you know, right. you know those m horrific moments where you realize everything around you is moving? Is a baby? Yeah. <laughs> you know those horrific moments where you realize everything around you is a baby? Well, what was happening is we went to the went to the lake shore, the other side of the lake. It's the lake shore is the part of the lake where the water becomes land. Where the shore is. I'm yeah. sure you've heard of it. I'm sure you've. I'm lake shore. You've heard of it. <laughs> huh. Ah. And uh, initially, it's I thought it's funny because wow, it's a joke. It's it, it's funny because it's intended to be. So you know, just laugh for fuck's sake. Okay. I looked down and the floor looked like it was moving, and I literally was like, "Oh, that's a lot of flies." But then I realized yeah. there was quite literally hundreds of like baby crabs the size of your fingernail just swarming the ground by the lakeside. Oh, the great crab gration. The great crab gration. But then to my horror, I then realized that they weren't just on the lake shore, they were also in the and around the grass under my feet. So this entire yeah. time I'm now having to play like hot crab potato and not stand on any of these tiny yeah. little critters as I weirdly yeah. like squat walk across the grass real gently. We've all been there before. I did pick one up and have a look at them. They were very cute. In fact, most small animals are cute, unless unless it's a shaved cat, then it's not cute. Or a scorpion. You don't shave a scorpion. You don't need to. Like, why would a scorpion have a little mustache, you know? It just doesn't make any sense. I just think that you should avoid small scorpions in general, because those then are the again, dangerous ones. Then again, a scorpion with facial hair, I genuinely think would improve the scorpion aesthetic. If there's one thing that a scorpion would do, is evilly stroke its beard hair with its claw. I think they would just get mustaches. What, twirly mustaches? Like, comically, evilly oversized twirly mustaches? I don't think they need to be twirly. I think that might be going a bit too stereotypical for the, the whole scorpion's ass. Like, I think they should be whatever they want, but only mustache. Okay, over here. Follow the sound of my voice. I can just see you, though. <laughs> well, that's not as fun, is it? You see these little golden golden bugs? Those little, these little happy, happy golden yeah. bug trails? Those are normal. Yeah, yeah, very happy little golden bug trails. Right. Yes. I'm gonna, gonna come have a, have a little head oh, in mushroom. this, head in this direction and. Oh, oh, oh a camp! Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, Who is? Oh, what the hell? It just goes out into the cave. This would have been nice. We're so dumb. Yeah, I think it's fine. <laughs> it was under the branches the entire time. We're so dumb. We didn't find this thing that was hidden. <laughs> Bye. Oh! Bye.
Come on! Are you stunned? Cotton, you're stunned! Cotton! Cotton, no! Hour. No, sweet child! I've got you! Cotton! Okay. Cotton, I'll save okay. you! You're stunned! Cotton! You're so stunned! I'm really, I'm Cotton, really please! Okay. Let me save you from I'm the really crap right. or he'll finish you off! Cotton! Your, your weapon is literally too slow to hit me, even Cotton, if you want to. Cotton, you're concussed right now! Stop you could, walking! You could not hit me if you wanted to. Cotton, you're, you're bleeding! You're bleeding to death, well, Cotton! Yeah, but I'm gonna keep bleeding until I make it bleed. That's that's how it works. Hey, look, a free wire bug. Oh, I love free wire bugs. You son of a bitch! Alright, what we need to do is take the free wire bug and then land on the crab. Or we could use an egg. You could use the egg when you land. Yeah, but that, that's not a wake-up hit. Some big crab dunk energy. Oh, boom! That was really <laughs> so anticlimactic. I feel like you hit the shell and did very little. <laughs> you don't know where I've been! Oh no, he's down. He might never recover from this, financially or bodily. He probably won't, to be honest with you. Oh, sorry, Daimyo Hermita, but you're bankrupt. No! All of my money has been sent to another account for safekeeping. <laughs> so damn you and your crab inheritance! The little hermitars will rise again! Surely the curio should finish eating the body. Right, like that's what they care about, right? Or is, I don't think they eat the body. Or is it body. just living life they, They've never eaten a body. They, they have never eaten a body in front of us. Well, they munch, munch, munch. They covered the Rathalos and the Angineth. Yeah, they just want the blood. They take out the blood and then they're done. Oh, and I guess it's hard to live without your blood in your body. Yeah, then you die. Oh, look at that blood sausage. Of course, of course he is. Oh, God, I don't like that he's going to look a bit redder. Oh, you don't he like this already throbbing being pale red white. kezu cotton? This big, stretching... Dropping Kezu. For someone who doesn't want me to say it, you sure sound like you want me to say it. Oh, God! Oh! Oh! Cow? Okay, can we, can we chill out for a second, buddy? <laughs> Look at him! I don't want to. Look at the redness of this Kezu. He's so... Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't, I'm not a this fan is, of this This is a Kezu with a very deep rash, is what I'm, uh, is what I'm uh, understanding. <laughs> this is irritated skin yeah. Kezu. This is, <laughs> this is saw patch Kezu. <laughs> this is angry inflamed Kezu. Oh, this Kezu needs urgent medical attention advice. I need urgent medical attention for being here. Magical attention? That wasn't what I said, but we can say it was. All right, let's say it was. What magical attention would you like? Uh, invisibility. I, how is that attention, though? That's surely that's a lack of attention. Well, only afterwards. You have to get the invisibility in the first place somehow. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> you know what would have really helped there? Dodging? No, if you were invisible. No, it wouldn't. He's already blind. <laughs> you shut up! You're so right, but shut up! <laughs> Of all the it would things actually, that this is help. the one monster that it really would make precious little fucking difference against. <laughs> Maybe, uh, what, I know, your, your, your smell and heat signature could also be invisible, you know, ever thought, ever thought about that? That would be a pretty weird type of invisibility, I don't know if we can make that happen. A completely odorless human being. <laughs> what, 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 what do you want from me? How would, how would you even know? I, I mean, like, you would smell everything around them, and, and you would think that was the way they smelled. It's a strange notion, isn't it? I guess. I <laughs> He's such a funny blood monster, man. I can't get over it. Like, I don't... Kezu looks so weird like I want this. nothing to do with it. I can't even look at him correctly. <laughs> murdered you twice. Look at those big, juicy, plump lips, happily dreaming about everyone he's going to eat. Just like, Ugh. um, a dinosaur, I guess. Yes? Yes. You got juicy, plump lips and yes? eat people? How crazy is it that animals dream? I don't think it's crazy at all. Anything that's sentient should be able to dream. No, but you have to have a concept of what you're dreaming about, right? But the, the point, yeah. the more than that, is it proves that dreaming is a product of life. 
over intelligence, which I find very interesting. And what, are you saying that animals are stupid? Because animals have intelligence. Just because they can't talk doesn't no, mean that they're... Like, relative to a human, obviously. But the point is, like, if a dog in its sleep can imagine so vividly, like, running that it kicks its legs while sleeping, it's adorable, firstly. But secondly, the fact that that can happen, I think, is utterly fascinating. Like, how far down the totem pole do you need to go before dreams aren't real? Uh, amoebas? <laughs> I just think anything capable of thought is capable of dreams, because thought is obviously th th what a dream is. It's just a thought with your brain off. <laughs> just a thought with your brain off! That's simultaneously the best and worst way I've ever heard a dream described. <laughs> Alright, we had our taster, we had our free trial, our, our three-day subscription of, of premium kezu. I don't like premium Kezu. I want to go back to the free version. If we don't, if, if we don't beat premium Kezu now, we are going to have to pay for a full month. I hope you're aware of that. I, do, I mean, I'd rather pay than have to be near it again. This is like the no, gym. I would literally pay to not have to hunt this Kezu. This is like the gym. I'll pay for the membership. Just don't make me go through the process. You mean you don't like red Kezu with extra steps? Well, I feel like it's red on the inside Kezu being forced to be red on the outside Kezu by a bunch of leeches. <laughs> and that's... But the weirdest part of this is obviously that the, the, the Curio are basically just weird Kezus. The Curio are just weird Kezus. I stand by what I've said. To hagen back to the dream thing. The existence of animal dreams implies the existence of animal nightmares. Yeah. Which is really, like... I feel like, I feel like I'm, I, I, an animal nightmare is brutal. I really thought he'd left the zone. Why? Because an animal nightmare is probably not so much irrational as, ah, I'm being eaten by my natural predator! <gasps> oh, okay, no, I'm not, I'm awake, okay. You know, that's that's kind of... I mean, I imagine it's just as, I mean, it could be just as irrational. You, you don't know that. Like, maybe an animal's walking around with pants on. It's like, why am I wearing pants? <laughs> what are these weird fabric things on me? Does a zoo animal dream of freedom and a free animal dream of the cushy life of being looked after in a zoo? I mean, we just don't know. I think an animal that's someone's pet dreams about uh, their owner being their pet. That, you know, you are totally right. 100%. And it's really creepy. The thing is, I don't think stuff like lizards probably dream, insects probably don't dream, amphibians probably don't dream. I imagine it's pretty mammally. Anything with thoughts, I think, will yeah, but dream. Technically, everything has thoughts, but a lot of those thoughts are just hungry, sleep. Move there. Sleep. Move there. Yeah, you hungry. can have dreams about hungry sleep move there. Hungry. Dream of good old hungry sleep move. Dude, dude, last night I had the craziest dream. I like, I moved over there and then I ate that bug. Dude. Dude, <laughs> I mean, dude honestly, man, that's I think an awesome dream. I love being a lizard. <laughs> More specifically, I think it's anything that it has thoughts that aren't pure instincts. <laughs> No. Oh, oh god, that didn't happen. Now I'm stunned. Oh, come on! Are you serious? Oh no. Oh no, 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 no! Okay, he just, he just looked at me weird. I got blasted by the blood explosion, right? Ow! Yeah. Wire fall away from the Kezu to compose myself, and midair uh -huh. got hit by the spinning blood balls that also accompanied yeah, that, the explosion. That genuinely and juggled myself the, to death. That is genuinely the majority of the ways that I have died in the Bloodlight quest. <laughs> I had such a played myself car. I don't like that at all. Okay, I just got paralyzed by Kezu into being paralyzed by Kezu with another attack and almost died from a triple paralysis chain. It's all right. I, I stunned him. We're okay. Thank you. What's the opposite of an insomniac? A narcoleptic? Is it? Well, I mean, those are just people who fall asleep at random. It's sort of a disease. That's not great. No, it's not a great disease to have. You can't really drive cars if you have that. It sort of sucks. Actually, that's a really good point. That must be terrifying. Yeah, you could literally... You're like driving along and then you, like, for your perspective, blink and then suddenly you're crashed. Well, I mean, that's why you're not allowed to have a driver's license if you have that disease. <laughs> no, you're, you're not wrong, are you? That, that makes a lot of sense now that you say that. I imagine there's a lot of things you're not allowed to do if you have that disease, to be honest. <laughs> You're not allowed to go up and down stairs. Roller coasters would be way more intense if you skipped through them. Yeah, you just literally wake up at the end. It's like, I didn't even go on that roller coaster. Yeah, the bar comes down. You leave the station. Blink. All right, thank you for riding. Oh! There. Everyone else, everyone else would think you were a badass, though. It's like, how are you asleep right now? <laughs> yeah, this doesn't even phase me. <laughs> oh, I'm getting a little bored, to be honest. What's with this upside down shit? Kittenator, over to the Kittenator. Kitten, kitten, kitten. Uh, he just wants to shoot at us. Oh, he's out of he's, he's out of juices. No, he's got no juice. Kezu, yes, yes, yes. Egg. Fire, fire the fire the thing. Fire now. the thing. Fire it. There we go. Bang. 
Tell it it's doing a bad job and to pack up its I've things. I've already put them in a box for you, whether you like it or not. Oh, that's cold. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. Blood Kezu. What are you going to say? Sucks. That's true. I mean, they're sucking him. He's sucking us. Like, who's not sucking right now? <laughs> it's a good old-fashioned suck chain. This is a group suck experience. We need to stop. We really need to stop talking. He agrees. We should not have these audio files in isolation. <laughs> no, probably not. What is happening to me? <laughs> what, what, what? What? Where are you? I'm, what? I'm like, um, uh, what? I'm, what? I'm doing weird things into a wall, apparently. Where are you? Back in the zone that we just were, you you left and I got the, uh, I'm, 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 um. Should I, should I come to you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm on the way. I'm on I the think way. so. You seem a little bit concerned. I'm having a little bit of a moment. <laughs> what? What? what um, oh no, run a flush. No! What? Uh, what? Oh, it's still happening! It's still It's just the spot! Come join me! It's just the spot, I think! I, no, I'm no, fine! You're not having it! Why is it Why is the water being churned up so much? I'm just fine! <laughs> what is happening to you? I'm just, like, bouncing! I'm vibrating against the wall! But just the water going off, though! Oh, it's gone now. Okay. I didn't realize Remogras were quality control. Slightly mistimed that. Oh, and I'm stunned. Oh, for oh God's no! Sake. Stop him! Stop him! Stop him! Okay, just okay. Little, little, little okay he did the lightest attack in the world to you. Careful, balls, balls, balls! Oh no, I'm paralyzed. No, don't do this. Oh, you have flinched free, don't you? Oh my God, how are you alive? Got it. Please recover the situation. I'm working on it. How did you live that jump on that hell? I got divine blessing. Did you get the world's luckiest defender or divine blessing? I got divine blessing. Thank you. Oh my god. I got Divine Blessing and Defender. I'm, I'm ready for randomness that helps me. I'm ready for randomness that helps me. I understand how much incoming damage there is, and I don't like oh, it. Oh, 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 I just hit him for 2.5k on a counter. <laughs> yeah, limp Aww. away after that sunshine. I mean, not, we're not going to let him, apparently. <laughs> let me just lay a celebratory egg. Well, that almost went south fast. Yeah, instead it went north. And everybody knows good things happen northwards. Depends how north you get, really. And thus, more blood plague curio monsters slain. Crab and the world's best looking Kesu you've ever seen. No, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> We're going to talk about it in length. Kesu length. I don't want to talk about Kesu's length. <laughs> <laughs> like you've enjoyed this, everybody. Subscribe to the bell for more. Consider supporting the future of this channel on Patreon down below. And until we meet again, oh god. Bye. Goodbye. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos. Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes. Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice. To reiterate that it is nice. To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage. Is. Uh, goodbye.